Well, welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. It is the day after, the day after President-elect Donald Trump won the election, and it is amazing. It's still amazing. It's going to be amazing forever. This is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen, and I hope you were with us during our Newsmax TV coverage last night. Lots to get to today. Lots of people to talk to uh, today. So you're gonna you're gonna love this show. I promise you. Uh, first and foremost, so before we get to Ed Klein, uh, I want you to hear what Donald Trump said at about 2:30 in the morning yesterday or this morning. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us. It's about us on our victory. And I congratulated her and her family on a very, very hard fought campaign. I mean, she, she fought very hard. Hillary has worked very long and very hard over a long period of time. And we owe her a major debt of gratitude for her service to our country. I mean that very sincerely. Yeah, we'll address Hillary Clinton and where she should be uh, next and what happens to her and the rest of the Clinton family uh, a little later on. There's more from Donald Trump. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all America, and this is so important to me. For those who have chosen not to support me in the past, of which there were a few people. I'm reaching out to you for your guidance and your help so that we can work together and unify our great country. So it was an electoral college landslide of sorts. How did so many of the pollsters get it wrong in the run-up to the election? One person who didn't was Newsmax TV's political analyst, Dick Morris, who predicted a landslide victory for Trump several days ago. There it is. Look, Newsmax, Dick Morris predicts landslide win for Trump as mail vote grows. And, of course, he outlined how this would be achieved in his great book, Armageddon, How Trump Can Beat Hillary. Uh, so kudos uh, to Dick Morris. Hillary finally spoke late this morning, and here's what she said. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it. It also enshrines other things. The rule of law, the principle that we are all equal in rights and dignity, freedom of worship, and expression, we respect and cherish these values too, and we must defend them. Take it to the Trump Supreme Court, Madam Secretary, to the Trump Supreme Court. I'm so happy to say those words. Um, okay, she also said it was a very painful uh, loss, and it's going to be very painful for quite some time, and she kind of teared up. Uh, but she wasn't the only one speaking. Paul Ryan also spoke today. This is the most incredible political feat I have seen in my lifetime. This is something you've heard me say time and again. Seven out of 10 Americans, they do not like the direction our country is going. Many of our fellow citizens feel alienated and have lost faith in our core institutions. They don't feel heard and they don't feel represented by those in office. But Donald Trump heard a voice out in this country that no one else heard. Did I say Trump Supreme Court? Man, just wait. Right to life, Second Amendment, protecting the First Amendment, religious liberty. Oh, baby. Um, and then Barack Obama also spoke today. I know everybody had a long night. Uh, I did as well. I had a chance to talk to... President-elect Trump last night, uh, about 3.30 in the morning, I think it was, to congratulate him on winning the election. And I had a chance to invite him to come to the White House tomorrow to talk about making sure that there is a successful transition between our presidencies. And as the president noted, he will meet with Donald Trump tomorrow. 